Don't bully a gentle person. This black student was bullied by a white boy. He didn't say a word and directly tossed Billy's books, grabbed Billy's arm and tried to break his wrist. However in that time, no matter how hard he tried, Billy's facial expression was still leisurely. That made him angrier, so he directly rammed into Billy's head. However, extraordinarily he was fine. In the previous day, Billy had encountered a mysterious thing. He had gone to an abandoned mine with his friends to dig gold. They had prepared explosives to explode the mine. After explosion, they had discovered some sparkling stones. Looking carefully, there had been five colorful crystal metals, because Billy and the others had found them stunning, so they had taken them away. The sound of explosion had caught the guards' attention, so immediately they had driven like the wind to flee. Police officers in the back had not stopped chasing them. When they had been driving across the railway, a train had hit their car, and they had rotated several circles in the air before landing. The scene changed, after the five of them woke up, they realized they were already at their own house. Luckily, they were still alive. Billy hurriedly checked if he was injured. He wanted to eat something to calm down, but the fridge door was broken when he opened it. Johnson was looking himself in mirror, his ABS that had been originally only one pack turned into six packs. He just touched the sink and consequently, it was also broken. Animal just woke up. Looking at the confession message sent to her by a strange boy, instantly she smashed the phone to pieces. By the time they gathered again, they acknowledged that it was due to the crystal metals. They decided to return the mine. Kimberly climbed up the top of the mountain first, and the others followed her closely. But this abyss blocked their way. Kimberly couldn't wait so she directly jumped over the abyss. The others also did in unison. At that time Billy jumped over already, but he fell down the abyss because he was too pleased. Fortunately, there was a lake at the bottom of the abyss. Billy detected something in the water. The others also dove into the lake. There was a water wall. They tried touching the wall, and then suddenly a force pulled them into a cave. In the final point, they found out a spaceship. Instantaneously, Johnson's red metal began to glow, and the main door of the spaceship opened automatically. As soon as he entered the spaceship, suddenly a chain tethered Jack's leg and dragged him away. It turned out to be a robot that made them extremely scared. The robot said to them that the spaceship had stayed here for 60 million years. In the past, there had been a star war on the Earth. Queen Mita had wanted to rob the Earth power crystal, thereby annihilating the Earth. Finally, the guardian of the crystal had fought against Mita to the end. Previously, they had buried the crystal in the ground and had hoped find the real warriors in the future. The queen was sealed under the sea, and the captain's consciousness was sealed in the spaceship. The captain revealed the five that they were chosen by these power coins. Now Mita was picked up by fishermen and was about to awaken. They had to prepare everything for war carefully. All of them didn't believe it. Immediately the spirit on the wall screamed. They were in a different scene that they saw the queen Mita wanted to rob the crystal. She destroyed everything on the earth, and turned human beings into dust. After returning to reality, the five teenagers made a decision to join tough training the fight against Mita. The robot showed them the Dino Zord. Jack stealthily took his Zord for a joyride. When he landed, the Dino Zord almost killed everyone. Therefore Jones hit Jack, Billy tried to separate the two, but spontaneously his armor was activated making people freeze. But it only lasted for a second. It seemed that the time has not come. At the same time, Mita holding a golden scepter walked barefoot into a jewelry store. And then she put the medal on the table, plus her scary face. That made the staff panic so much that she quickly took off her golden chain to give it to Mita. Mita had been sleeping for 60 million years, so she looked like to be extremely hungry. She stuffed necklaces into her mouth, and used melted gold to repair her scepter. Billy's group took the initiative to attack Mita, but they didn't even have battle clothes. They were quickly knocked down. Soon after that they were tied up. Billy was drowned to the bottom of the ocean by the queen. The remaining four brought Billy's body to find the captain, with hope that he probably saved his life, but the captain was also helpless. At that time, their frustration activated the spaceship's transformation system, which was originally possible to revive the captain. Nevertheless, the captain gave Billy this chance to revive him. After going through hardships together, they really understood each other. At that time, they successfully morphed and activated their nano armors. And Mita also brought putties here. Instantly the five fought with putties. Queen Mita summoned Goldar, because putties appeared more and more. Jack drove the dinosaur Zord and madly shot at the putties. The queen began to control Goldar to damage the city. The five rangers drove all their battle Zords and ran like the wind to the city. The queen went into a pastry shop and leisurely ate donuts. Now, two battle Zords rushed at Goldar but both were thrown away. Goldar knew the location of the crystal. Goldar punched the ground hard that caused a deep hole in which the crystal was. The five fought to the crystal to stop Goldar. Billy's red Zord was knocked down. At that time, Goldar was no longer belligerent and pushed them all down the hole. The bottom of the hole was a sea of fire, 
When Goldar was about to take the crystal, suddenly in the dense smoke, a robotic arm appeared. Queen Mitta doubted. It turned out that the five zords have combined into one body. King Kang Megazord in front of Mitta was bigger than Goldar. Seeing this, the queen immediately merged with Goldar into one. This was the first time the five combined, so they weren't proficient in controlling of the Megazord. At the very first step they fell down. However, they quickly cooperated well and started a decisive battle with Goldar. King Kang Megazord just threw a punch that distorted half of the opponent's face. Goldar pulled out his great knife of a length of 99 meters. But when Goldar just rushed, it was knocked down and was pierced by two battle axes of the Megazord. At that time, the queen was also forced to go out, but she still did not obey and belittled death. She took the staff to jump up, but she was slapped into the space. She was sealed in outer space. But I just wondered where Goldar's gold would be. See you in the next video.